your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Thursday morning started off with a few splash and dashers up into the PD and up along the border belt early this morning. Can't rule out an isolated one or two splash and dashers through the first half of the day for areas mainly from, say, Florence to Myrtle Beach northward for the afternoon and evening. That's when we're going to be seeing our better chance for a few of these isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms to move on through the area. Could get a rumble of thunder and a thunderstorm that's a little on the strong side for the second half of the day with the heating of the day ongoing. Now, as we lose the heating, though, into the evening and overnight hours, our rain chances will drop off, but we could be seeing a little bit of patchy, dense fog by early tomorrow morning. This afternoon, aside from those few thunderstorms that'll be out there and showers, it's going to be very hot and humid. 89 for your high in Myrtle's Inlet and Myrtle, North Myrtle Beach, 90 in Myrtle Beach, up to 92 in Marion and 93 in Florence and Darlington. You factor in the humidity, though, and that heat index will be up around triple digits, especially for the inland areas. Forecasting peaking that heated X around 100 degrees in Florence and Marion, even up to 101 in Conway and Darlington. And that heat will actually be extending across the uh, Midlands as well. So if you're heading out to the Gamecock game tonight versus UNC, through the pregame, we're going to be dealing with those temperatures in the mid to low 90s and that heat index near triple digits. The good news is as we go after uh, kickoff and temperatures falling down to the 80s by the time the game comes to an end, we will have to keep an eye out there as well for a few showers and thunderstorms to pop up. A front lingering down to the south during the day tomorrow will keep us mainly dry, but high pressure off to our east. The Bermuda High sets up to give us that chance for a few showers and thunderstorms and more heat and humidity back in the forecast for the weekend. Our next cold front approaches Monday to Tuesday, and that returns a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms with it. A 30 to 40 percent chance of rain to end the weekend and head into the beginning of next week. Most of the weekend's looking pretty good, though. Isolated chances Friday and Saturday. A few more widely scattered coming in Sunday to Monday. The tropics. They're starting to get a little more active. We still have a few tropical waves across the Atlantic, none of which are showing any major potential for development over the next several days. But we have a wave now that will be moving off the coast of Africa that potentially could become uh, a tropical disturbance over the next few days. So we'll be watching that closely. We'll keep you updated on the tropics right here and on your website, carolinalive.com, underneath the Hurricane Central page. As far as your seven-day forecast, though, looks like we're going to be dealing with the uh, MOTS forecast. More of the same Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with middle and upper 80s, plenty of heat and humidity, and just a slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms out there. It's Monday to Tuesday when we have that cold front coming into the area that increases those rain chances for us, especially more so on Monday. Behind that cold front, it does look like we have some drier air to come in for the middle and end of next week. Keep you updated on that forecast, but as of right now, it looks pretty good for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Week. Until then, though, as I mentioned, hot and humid, especially out there today. High hitting 93 degrees. We'll be in the upper 80s, though, tomorrow. As some of that drier air comes in behind the front that's sinking down to the south. That'll pass us by later on today. So tomorrow, most locations are going to be dry and even a good deal of sunshine up along the border belt. Further down to the south, say towards Georgetown and Charleston, there's that isolated chance for a shower or thunderstorm and actually south of Florence as well. But all in all, a good looking weekend forecast just in time for Labor Day. You got to love it. Although on Labor Day, we'll have to keep an eye out for a few of those scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly into the afternoon. So have a great Thursday. Your latest news, weather and tropical updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.